Good morning. Well, if you've watched my channel for any time, you'll know that I tend to go out early morning, sunrise, or evenings for sunset. The reasoning is the light tends to be more conducive, shall we say, softer, uh, warmer sometimes, um, which is better for photography. That's just my opinion. Others may disagree, and that's absolutely fine. But for me, sunrise and sunset, golden hour, blue hour, those are the times when I feel happiest being out of the camera. But you will also know, if you've been here for any time, that I love being at the coast. So I am pretty much governed by tide times. And this year's been a real monkey. Tide times just aren't coinciding with sunrise and sunset when I can get there. It's great during weekday when I'm at work, but weekends have been a right numpty this year. So I'm doing something a little different today. <laughs> it might all go horribly wrong. It is 20 past nine and it is Sunday the 1st of September. And I am heading to one of my favorite locations simply because the tide is fully in or is gonna be fully in when I get there. And it's high enough to create the images that I want. You'll recognize the place when I get there. It's really boring. I don't need to concentrate so much on the compositions all I want to concentrate on is trying to create a couple of images when in my head I'm being told the light isn't right. And the reason for doing it today is it is overcast, it is murky, there is a threat of rain. Allegedly we're not going to have any sunshine. We've got the blandest of bland skies. Excuse the sat nav in the background. Um, that should work in my favour for minimal images because it will minimise the horizon line where it joins the sea. That's the theory anyway. And one other thing while I'm waffling away in the car. I've noticed recently the audio has been a bit weird. I don't know why. I didn't think I'd done anything different. To change gear. That's better. I didn't think I'd done anything different with the road. Hang on. 1.1 miles. Gladys shut up with her fuel announcements. Um, I didn't think I'd done anything different with the Zoom. But apparently I had. Because it sounds really muffled. It's not clear. So I've changed, I've done a bit of Googling and I've changed a couple of settings. <clears throat> so it'll either be 100% worse or slightly better. Whichever way it goes, I've done the best I can. Well, for those of you who don't recognise this place, this is Wallasey. And I absolutely love these sea defences. The tide is actually a little bit further out than I expected to be. Excuse me rummaging, I'm looking for my ten stop. I think that's it. Um, I expect it was a 8.2... 8.5, something like that metre tide. So I thought it would actually be a lot further in than it is. Hence, I am rushing a little bit. I'm just going to put the bit that I've just done through the camera somewhere around it. It'll either be inset or I'll show it to you next. Just showing you how I've lined up the polarizer. Because as I suspected, the polarizer is doing a grand job of just taking that horizon down a little bit more. It's removed the reflections off the water. So essentially I've got the polarizer off. There's still a little bit of a difference. So I'm just popping in a 0.6 soft grad. I'm just trying to get that lined up. And then I'm gonna bang in the 10 stop. And, ooh, right, F11. ISO 100, put it onto timer, changing the white balance up to 10,000 kelvins. 
Time. Yeah, time. And I am just going to let that run. Now I'm, I'm kind of working in the dark a little bit here because I can't see what you're seeing. But I've lined it up. I think it's with this section here. And it's just allowing me to get a little bit of space around it without getting this next batch of um, concrete doobris in. Let me just have a look. That's it. That's what I wanted. That is 100.5 seconds. Now, I did check my focus before I pressed the button, but I'm just going to check again. Oh, yes. Complete with seagulls, which are really annoying. The sea is a nice and milky colour. We have got... I can't think what they're called. The sea defences coming in from the left and then fading out through to the right. In the distance, I've got the, the wonky marker pole. He's got a bit of a list on, bless him. I suspect something must have hit him at some point. I would be a lot happier if we didn't have the seabirds sat on them. But it's such a calm day, and I'm guessing they're not that bothered about actually moving. Now that was 100 seconds. And there's a little bit of detail in the sky because it's really blocky, thick cloud. I'm at F11. I'd actually quite like that a little bit more. And I think I am just going to rock it up a little bit. Let's say I'm trying to compose so that I don't have to do any cloning at this side of the image to lose. Because there are angles, they kind of encroach when you're trying to line your shot up. That's it. The horizon line is nicely faded because in what you're seeing, it is quite a strong horizon line. The polarizer goes on. It loses a lot of that because it takes the... Ref um, does it take the reflection off? Yeah, it takes the reflection off and it goes milky. So that's minimising it. A little bit of post-processing, I can lose that altogether. It would be 100% better if it didn't have seabirds sat on it, but never mind. I've never done a shot straight down them. And I'm thinking that might actually be possible. They're all at angles. I love the defence. They're absolutely phenomenal, these sea defences. It must have been a photographer who designed them. The light, although we are at, oh, I don't know, what are we at? Mm, half past 11? Should be quite harsh. And it is definitely harsher than it would be at sunrise or sunset. But it's doable. It's workable. Basically because of the cloud cover. Uh, no, that's not had long enough yet. I'm, I'm wanting to make this really overexposed. Almost to the point we're blowing the highlights. Um, yeah, so midday, long exposure photography with the aid of the 10 stop should work out okay. I could go through and clone those birds out, but my God, I would be there till Christmas. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave them as they are. Right, let's have a look, see what we're up to. Yeah, so yes, midday photography, midday ish closest I'm ever going to get. Not something I would normally do, but every now and then, the conditions, excuse me, doing me back up, just allow for it. And today is one of those days. So, I'm going to go and mosey over there and see if I can line up a shot using, using the mobile while that finishes cooking, and then I'll come back to you. Right, I've not done this composition before and I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. I'm shooting landscape orientation still, all my other settings are the same. F11, ISO 100, I've got um, white balance on 10,000 kelvins because the Lee filter gives a slight blue cast and I've got a boat going through the image which is really annoying. What I'm trying for, what I'm aiming for, is this row of defences right over on the right hand side and then just a mass of water and we have that marker post 
Mr. Wonky marker post on the left hand side. It's bringing into view some of the second row and then some of the third and the fourth row but I'm not getting in the beach which is starting to show through because obviously the tide is receding and that was important to me. I didn't want the beach showing through. Oh and I'm sinking. Glad I put my sand feet on today. Um, I looked at a shot straight down the middle but there was sand showing and I really didn't want sand showing. I wanted it all water. <laughs> I am sinking big time here. Um, my last image <coughs> was 126.9 seconds and it was right on the edge of the histogram. Hadn't blown it but it was right on the edge and I've just realised, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't checked my focus on this one. So let's see where we're up to. <coughs> oh that's a little bit over. I'm going to have to take that off because I can't see if we're in focus. It should be. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's in focus. That composition is about right, the position of everything. And um, we were at 123 seconds. So I'm just going to pop the filter back down. I slid it up because there is a goopiness up there. And I know that I can just zoom that in slightly. Right, it doesn't want to be any more than about 100 seconds. I'm not convinced the composition works because it's right over on the right hand side. And I've only got time to do one because in the distance you can see that second lot of defences coming through. So this is going to be one shot, keep your fingers crossed. But the nice thing about this is, as the water recedes, you can walk further and further out. That'll do for me. So I will catch you again when I've got down there. I'm, I'm trying things here. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of images. Um, Helen Trust. I think her work is sublime and all her images have the subject not all of them generally speaking right at the bottom of the frame it might be central might be off to one side might be off to the other side but they're always quite low in the frame so you have lots of negative space above the subject and I'm trying it here I'm not convinced it works because of the angle that I'm at and I can't get a different angle because it would mean being Mm, far too far in the wet stuff and I haven't got my waders on and I don't know if there's quicksand around here and I really don't want the lifeguard coming after me so I was right in my suspicions that I can't get a decent angle on these defences so I've pulled them properly down to the bottom of the image and then I've got the central defence leading out to Mr Wonky over there and there's just three or four rocks starting to show up before you hit that central set of defences. One frustration is a boat's decided to park itself right out at the end. Uh, I thought I was taking an exposure, but apparently I wasn't. <laughs> Hey-ho, right, let's try that. So I'm aiming for about 75, 80 seconds, that's plenty, to pull the exposure really over onto the right-hand side of the histogram, but not quite blowing it, which is what I'm after. I might keep these colour and I might add a bit of extra colour to them. Depends what I see when I get them on the big screen. Or I might turn them mono. I really don't know yet. This one might go square. Not sure. Because I can't... I haven't got the whole of that defence in. Because it would be a pano to do that, I think. Um, it doesn't really matter where I cut that bit off. But the image comes in right and then goes out to the left. So, goes out to the left? Yeah, it comes in from the right and then those second set of defences, they, they kind of curve out a little bit and round to the left. But I think now, I think it works, but it is made up, majority of it is sky. You've got to try things or you don't know. And the worst that can happen is I've wasted 10 minutes faffing around and I delete it. No big deal. 
but it's how we learn. Make mistakes, tells you what doesn't work. There's some lovely doggies out here. And then you don't make that mistake again. Uh, very often. Sometimes I do. Well, that's, that should be about right. Bang on, 87 seconds, that's fine. Yes, I think I like that. I do have a phobia about shooting in the midday light. It's not my favourite occupation, neither is shooting into the sun. But I think I'm proving to myself today that it is doable. And sometimes you have to do things that you're not comfortable with. Sorry, the wind, I've just turned into the wind. Because there are no other options. When I do seascapes, I like to have plenty of water around me. Not around me, but around my subject, generally speaking. And it's just not working with tide times and sunrise sunset. So, next best thing, put your Bridget Jones pants on. Come out and try it. Yeah. And I say, I haven't changed my setup the whole time I've been here. 0 0.6, 10 stop, polarizer. I'm shooting on the 17 to 55. Um, ISA 100, F11, white balance at 10,000 kelvins. So I've kept everything exactly the same. So, last shot of the day. I'm kind of hoping I'm in view here. I've come back around to the left-hand set of groins. It's actually very mild, and I could do with taking my jacket off. Um, again, a composition I've not done before, and again, one that I'm not 100% that I like, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five. I think that's right of these sea defenses in so you've got sort of the, the solo one on the end and then I've got five and then we've got the defenses going out in the curve to Mr Wonky Pole it's very tight at the left hand side because the six row of defenses is just starting to creep in but fingers crossed I've managed to align it so that I don't need to do any cropping or cloning. The majority of the image is sky so the image comes in from the left goes almost over to the right hand side of the image and then curves back and Mr Wonky marker pole is almost in alignment with the fifth set of sea defences. I do wish these birds would go away. Bane of my life. Yeah I've had good fun today really enjoyed this. I still miss the sunrise and sunset colours, but I did try to Im impress in my head that I wasn't going for colour today. We were going for subtle tones, mono. Where are we up to with that? Oh, just a little bit too long. 97.5 is just blowing. But for the purposes of composition yes that's got everything in i want and nothing in that i don't so there you go from someone who is a self-confessed get up early go to bed late type of photographer it is doable come out in the middle of the day make sure the conditions are suitable for what your aim is have an aim my aim was minimal negative space muted tones and or mono um, and then you'll get what you want, hopefully. And I haven't changed setup the whole time I've been here. Normally I'm faffing around just trying different filters to see how they affect the image. But with the first image resulting in exactly what I was after, I didn't feel the need. I've just left everything as is. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So I hope you enjoyed this little wander to Wallasey. Hope you're all having a great, a great week. Oh, excuse me, mouthfuls of hair. Look after yourself, I shall pop the images up, and I'll see you in two weeks. Toodaloo! We've got to be about 80 seconds now, haven't we?